SimWriter 2 is an exciting free upgrade to our symbol processor. It has a number of very significant developments. The most important is that SimWriter 2 is completely compatible with our new SimWriter Online, meaning that you can have continuity of use for creating symbol documents between desktop PCs and online technologies. The first thing you will notice is the opening screen. The launcher has been simplified and there are now three main buttons. Writing a document, using an environment or grid set and making an environment. You can also choose how SimWriter will appear to the user. We've made three types of toolbar. A full writing toolbar with all of the icons you would need. A writing toolbar ideal for student writing and a toolbar with just the items you may need if using a ready-made environment. You can edit these toolbars to make your own views for specific students or purposes. As well as being able to choose the symbol I want from the symbol chooser, I can also set my choices to be the default if I would like. I right-click on my choice in the symbol browser and I have the option then to set this as the default symbol. Similarly, if there's a symbol that I don't want to ever show, I can turn that off in the symbol browser and then set that to be the default. That way I can hide symbols for some of the little words that I don't ever wish to use. These new saved preferences will be the default on all future documents on this machine. When adding photographs or other images, you don't now have to specify beforehand whether it's going to be a symbol or an illustration. I can simply choose the picture that I want and then as I hover my mouse over the different words you will see some grey squares appear showing places where I can drop that graphic. One of those places is a large square and that would then put that at the beginning of the sentence and I can use the drag points to make that graphic the size that I want it. You will also notice that I've got a double panel on the right hand side showing both the symbols and the graphics at the same time. For this next example I'm going to change into text mode and I'm going to write something about Egyptian gods. I'm going to illustrate it with a symbol. I'm going to pick up the symbol as I did just now and drop that to the left of my text. The graphic is linked to a paragraph and so if I want to put all the sentences on a new line it would normally put the new paragraph below the graphic. I now have the option to put a soft return. By holding down shift and pressing return I can put the text on a new line without creating the new paragraph break. It is also much easier now to change the default settings in a document. If I go to format, text and symbol formatting, I have the option to change my settings but at the same time I can save them as defaults. That means that the rest of the document and any future documents would be in that new style. This is very useful for making the whole of a document look consistent. Another feature is the format painter. If I want to change the settings of a particular area of the document, I can copy that setting with the format picker and then any time I want to use that setting I can just use the format dropper and that would apply that setting to my selected word or words. This can work across both a document and an environment. If you're using the full toolbars, 
you will find there is an additional icon that will help you copy content from SimWriter to other applications such as Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. Select the paragraph you want to copy and now click on the Copy as Image icon and then bring up your other application and paste that using Paste or Ctrl plus V and that will place that paragraph with any attached symbols into the new application. I have just shown you the main new features of document writing in SimWriter 2. There are many other smaller improvements which you will find as you try out the different icons and look through the menus. There is another video which is about changes to making environments. I hope that through all of this you will see that there are many exciting ways that SimWriter can be used to support a huge range of symbol users.